thanks for tuning back. We have in studio Kelsey, a young woman I'm happy to see in here today. <laughs> Kelsey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Wow. So it's been quite a while. It's been a I've long I've been time. following you and your work and the things that you've been doing here in the city. Yeah. So tell us, you've been single for how long now? Uh, About three for years? For three years. Yeah. Wow. A fabulous young woman like this. <laughs> Crystal, is this serious? Really? Mm -hmm. Is this serious? Yes, you are so her. fabulous. But well, she's young. You. She's young. Only 24 years old, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay, so tell us a little bit about, because you're dating right now. Yeah. How has it been finding men? Well, I find that it's... <laughs> finding men. I like how I just... <laughs> how has it been finding men? Go well, ahead. you know, it's hard to find good, genuine guys, I think. And, um, you know, traditional gentlemen. Yeah. I think that's the city though. There's so many yeah. men here and women that are so successful that you're always competing. Do you find that? Do you find that you're always competing? Um, well, it depends on what pool depends. you're running in, right? What, yeah. pool, what well, pool of men are you looking for? Like, do you mean age-wise or? Yeah, yeah, I want to know depends on the package. Okay, well, age. Let's talk age. I would say, you know, later 20s into 30s, later 30s. Okay. Yeah, but see, yeah, because early twenties, they are not ready to settle down. They're still in the bar. That's right. They're out partying. Yeah. They want to have a good time. And I know Kelsey. She is honestly, she looks like a Barbie doll, but she is a <laughs> she's a very professional young woman, Thank educated. You. Thank I you. mean, your background, the things that you do, Thank even you. in this community, is just amazing. Oh, so thanks. yeah, even though you're twenty four, you're very mature yeah. for your age. I should mention that for Thank any of the guys you. out there that are <laughs> trying to find Kelsey on Twitter right now. <laughs> But what are some Thanks. advice that you'd give Kelsey in the dating scene? Why well, I'm going to use her age, it. actually, yeah. because she is very young, but she looks very mature. She acts very mature. She speaks very well. I would just soften it up a little just to give yourself a little bit of a younger look. Okay, so what would yeah. you do with her? I mean, she looks va-boom. Yeah. Um, I love her hair curly. Like, you want some soft yeah, curls? Yeah, I'd see some soft curls, maybe even some low lights. Just... Okay. Soften when you say low lights, I'm a black girl. What does low lights mean? You know, a little, a little <laughs> so, more brown or oh, caramel okay. or, you know, okay. just a... Okay, so yeah. like a Beyonce type hair color? Like, yeah, like maybe. A well, I don't know what hair color she has right now. But yeah, yeah. just soften it up. Okay. More well, useful. Kelsey, yeah. I remember um, when we used to go to school together, mm -hmm. you had mm -hmm. your own... Um, there's an, a brand of lipstick they used to wear, and it was your own <laughs> color. I remember everybody talking about it. I think it was this one, or it was a little... It might have been a little bit different. It was yeah. a little bit different, yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly. That's so so you're kind of yeah. like a brand, because I know that you've always maintained this image that you have yeah. very well. Thank you. And I mean, I, and I appreciate what um, yeah, yeah, Crystal's yeah. saying here, too. I mean, yeah. obviously, you meet a lot of men. You've done your mm -hmm. research. If she could soften up a little bit, what kind of men would be approaching Kelsey? Because right now there's a, lo a ton of them that are stalking mm -hmm. her. But which <laughs> kind of men do you think may feel more comfortable maybe to approach her? I think the 30s, early 30s. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what are some, we were talking earlier about some great places to meet men. Mm -hmm. um, where do you actually go out with your girlfriends to meet guys? Well, it really depends. Um, you know, sometimes restaurants. Uh, it's really hard to say because you don't really want to meet somebody in the club of course right? yeah <laughs> um, but it is you know hard to find good guys out there I guess yeah okay to find a good guy and when you say it's hard to find a good yeah. guy because I hear a lot of girls saying this on YouTube yeah. all the time hard to find a good guy all guys are dogs la 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 mm -hmm. and so forth yeah you yeah. know you yeah. know how it yeah. is crystal um, to find a good guy for us well, I guess someone who has good values, good morals, um, maybe more traditional, uh -huh. you know, nice family. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. And wants to see you ride horses. Because you <laughs> ride horses, too. Yeah. Aww. She's so sweet, hey? Yeah. Very sweet. Um, so you had a question for Crystal. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, a lot of girls probably have this question is, how do you weed out um, the good guys from the bad guys? I think that in, you, with enough time when you're into it. Yeah, you, well, you should know right That's away. That's a good question. That's a really good Not question. Not with enough time. I think you need to know within a couple of weeks. Yeah. And if you're honest up front and you ask questions, mm -hmm. you should know. If he pays attention to you and he treats you good, then yeah. that's how you know. Okay, good. Anything else that you want to ask or 
How about when it comes to, like, right now, you said you, you told us earlier, actually, before you came on, mm -hmm. that you actually met somebody that you might, you're <laughs> considering, someone that you're considering, because you're dating multiples, and it's okay to date multiple men oh, yeah, and yeah, women. Yeah. No, it's not a really taboo. I know multiples. my parents are probably watching. I don't date multiples. <laughs> Neither do um, I. <laughs> I'm not a multiple kind of person. <laughs> me either. Yeah. Um, me Just either. as long as you One keep their names straight. Okay? <laughs> that was too funny. Um, what yeah. were you saying? Sorry. I said as long as you keep their names straight. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But serial dating works for some people. Yeah. Doesn't work for everyone, right? I'm not really into that. But mm -hmm. um, it's actually kind of funny how I met this gentleman. Yeah. Tell us was, about that. Um, we had the same driver, same chauffeur kind of guy. What do you mean same driver, chauffeur? <laughs> like be specific I'm, like we had we shared the same driver and then this okay. driver was like I have this client and I want you to meet him so yeah so it's kind of like a friend yeah the, how we met just matchmaking yeah yeah right on so you guys live in the same community now because you guys have the same driver chauffeur no we don't but yeah we just have the same Uber very car. nice. Guy who drives us. <laughs> very nice. Very yeah. nice. Well, Crystal, if this doesn't work out for her, mm -hmm. could you see somebody on your roster that oh, might yeah. be fabulous I, for this young woman? I'll have her matched by Friday. Oh, <laughs> oh high five. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we have Crystal here today. Honestly, yeah, yeah, you could put her together. So you always have someone to call if you need to get Thanks, hooked up Crystal. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think the tips that you gave Kelsey is, is really great because mm -hmm. sometimes there's a stigma. If you're really beautiful, sometimes people think you're taken. They do, right? Sometimes when guys yeah, look at, you know, like, if you you're so fabulous and well put mm -hmm. together, they think, yeah, like, oh, she's probably taken or she's probably with somebody or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is we need to kind of like give this girl uh you know from a diva bring her from a diva to the girl next door the girl next door <laughs> Aww. yeah i could totally see you rocking that you're fabulous either way Aww, thank you are you, you are thank so um what are some upcoming projects that you're doing we have 30 uh, seconds to break so bring it up girl share well um i might be going to uh, fashion week in istanbul um, very nice to model there for a couple of weeks and um, besides that, just busy, you know, with facial cosmetic and reconstructive surgery and all that good stuff. So, well, good for you. We wish Thank you, you all the best and we wish you all the best also in finding love. Oh, all right. So yeah. stay in touch with us with the show. Thanks. Up next, we will be talking to Ben Valentine Morgan, a 34 year old guy that says, you know, he's having quite difficulty trying to find out if girls are really for him, for who he is, or because of the fact that he is a well-known comedian in our city. Stay tuned with us after the break. Oprah, chill. Welcome back. In studio, we have Ben Valentine Morgan, a local comedian and a guy that, you know, you're just going to love once you meet him. Ben, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. So, <laughs> I, lo I love the beard. I know you posted on your Facebook that Jaf Jafari? Have it. <laughs> <laughs> What were you calling your beard? You said Jafari or ha ha Javier. Javier is Javier. making his appearance on Shaw TV today. Yes. So that's the name that Ben has for his uh, beard. <laughs> yes. So how did you come up with the name? Um, sorry, say that again. Javier. Ha Javier. Javier. Um, how did you come up with that name for your beard? I was on a date and uh, the voice just came to me and uh, Javier was born. Right on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Crystal, what do you think of the beard? <laughs> He's a 34-year-old man, <laughs> yeah. currently in the dating scene. He has a beard um, named um, Javier. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? <laughs> well, well, that sounds creepy. Is, is that, is that could, this, is, could uh, this work? No. Could you on your roster? No, like he's 34 beard, going on 84. No. <laughs> oh, 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 Crystal, Crystal, be nice. Crystal's making me sweat here. And he named it, it too. No. It's you, would you like to touch? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Ben, how long have you been single for? Um, approximately a year. A, a year. year, okay. So why has it been a year that you've been single? Because you are so popular. How You're long have you had the beard shows? for? Oh. <laughs> All right, Crystal's had, on your beard. I've had the Javier. beard. I've had the beard for about six months. Wow, your hair grows faster than my own hair. 
How it goes. Jeez, I love that. <laughs> I really love that. Um, it's a live show, guys. It is what it is, you yeah. know. It is what it is. Thank you, Africana Beauty Supply. <laughs> um, but yeah, that beard grows really fast, six months. So you have been single for a year. What is going on here in the dating scene? Um, I'm not super interested in dating. You're not interested in dating? Well, I'm not super interested in dating. I'm just really focused on my art and uh, creating and uh, just doing me, so. Well, I understand um, that you were talking with us earlier, even with Crystal, that you feel that you're not really sure with some of the girls that are approaching you or the girls that you're talking to, if they're really in it for you or they're in it for the things that you do and uh, the perks of maybe being your girl. Uh, I don't know if there's many perks to being my girl. Oh, come on. <laughs> but um, You'll I get an opportunity to go to a comedy show for free. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have the dilemma of like when I'm interacting with a young female, uh, I'm not sure if she's into Benjamin, the real Benjamin, or the Benjamin that she saw on stage or saw on a poster or what have you. Oh, so. I see. So what makes what made you like think of that? Like, um, has I, any I, girl ever? I, I was in a relationship, and uh, just like when I would go to her family function, she okay. wanted me to perform. She wanted me to be the funniest, most engaging person in the room. And in real life, I'm Isn't not. Isn't that hard and it's, difficult? It's super hard because uh, on stage, Ben is uh, totally different from off stage, Ben. Yeah. Like, yes, I like to be funny and engaging, but I don't like to be the center of attention all the time. I don't like to mm. perform, and especially at a family function where I don't know anybody. <laughs> And it's like, this might be future father-in-law and you want me to perform? Like, no thank you. But how are you when you meet girls? Do you lead with that? Do you uh, say, this is who I am and this is what I like, do? Like, do you approach them and be like, hi, I'm Benjamin Morgan Valentine. <laughs> I am a comedian. You can see me at Yuck Yuck's Laugh Shop. Like, what do you, is, how uh, are you really um, approaching them? That's a good question. Yeah. No, if I, if I approach a girl that, like, I like or I'm into, I won't go with that. Like, if I, that's promoter, Ben. Like, you'll get that if I'm inviting you to a show or what have you. But if I see you and, like, I'm I want to engage with you, I just approach and I say hi and whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth and hopefully we have a cool, insightful conversation. Because with me, it starts in the brain like yes I have to be physically attracted to you but it's all about the brain and uh, the synergy with uh, with our two personalities well then if you have synergy then you shouldn't be worried about that that's true lots of the girls I am meeting though are at shows and such so well yeah then, but then you're acting differently too right so yeah. if you want to meet a nice girl then you have to be nice and humble about it right so stick away from Showgirls. <laughs> <laughs> and groupies, Ben. Yeah. I've seen you with a couple groupies. <laughs> I well, have. that's what I meant. Showgirls went to shows. Shows, <laughs> I've seen what's been going on there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've went to your shows. I've seen the groupies that come around. Um, <laughs> basically, what Crystal's saying is cut those chicks out. Got you. Got Can you, you yeah. please listen to that advice? Yes, I will cut out the groupies. <laughs> yeah, cut them out. Um, as far as the beard goes, let's talk about Javier, the mm -hmm. beard here. Crystal, do you think if... I don't know how committed Ben is to the beard and mm -hmm. Javier. Um, Javier, if you're just tuning into the show, Javier <laughs> is Ben's beard um, <laughs> that he's been growing for six months. Do you think that it'd be a good idea for him to trim it down a little bit more? Because he's yeah. 34 years old and you're saying he's pushing 84. <laughs> if you look, were to look well, it just, just, it's, I was shocked when I heard your age. I can't even speak about it. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I am committed. I like the beard. I'm committed. The beard and the okay, beard so and the I beard. are rocking. What does well, the beard represent you for you? Um, I'm not sure. It's just independence. Uh, it's just yeah. the vibe I'm in. It's just the headspace I'm in right now. And honestly, when it comes down to it, you'll need, yeah. you'll need that one female, right? So I'm not looking for a million girls. So when that right woman comes along, if she can't accept Benjamin and Javier, then she's not for it. Uh, well, well said. I don't think you have to get rid of Javier if you feel comfortable. Well, you don't Same need a Crystal. security blanket. Exactly. <laughs> Or independence of a beard. You can be independent without that. No, and not. Ben has a really nice baby face without Javier on his face. Yeah. So I personally think that you can rock it no matter what. As Crystal said, trim out those groupies or whatever from the shows. Be who you are. And never let anyone make you feel like you have to be out of your comfort zone and always have to perform. And you know what I mean? Put up an entertainment. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you so much, Ben. Wish you all the best. Crystal, thanks for thank being my co-host today. You. It was a good <laughs> show. Um, stay tuned for a live performance by O2 featuring Enigma.